Meet Goran Jankovic. He is a local commander in the protection and rescue service in Montenegro's capital, Podgorica. Goran lives in a village some 30 kilometers north of downtown Podgorica, where his family owns a small tourist farm. This highway totally changed my life and the lives of my family. From the city rush, we moved to a country-style life, and it was more than the right decision. And we already had the first tourists last year who came to the village just because the highway was opened. Before that, it took Goran over an hour to drive to work on the dangerous road of the Moracha Canyon. Now his commute is 20 minutes on a comfortable and most importantly, much safer road. So far, we've had about 1,500 and 1,700 casualties on the old road through the Maracha Canyon. Now, since this highway is actively used, we've had some accidents, but they are incomparable with the numbers from the old road. The infamous Moracha Canyon Road is bypassed by this Chinese-built feat of engineering. It starts at 63 meters above sea level, rising to 1,000 meters over its 41 kilometers. This project encompasses a series of 20 bridges and 16 tunnels, all built by 3,000 Chinese and local workers. The highway takes drivers through some of the most challenging terrains on Earth, but also offers stunning views. That difficult construction was just the beginning of this project, which is of vital importance for Montenegro. The government is already considering the next step, but financial considerations make future projects more difficult. It is evident now that because of the state of the public finances and the turbulent events on the financial market, a model of financing the highway from our budget is almost impossible. So we are open for the public-private partnership or other concession models. The costs of the remaining sections of the highway might be too heavy for Montenegro, but would be popular with the people like Goran, who says the new highway has already changed lives for the better.